Okay, so this is uh, version four of my FT Mini Arrow 3D printed center pod. Um, a few changes have been made since version three, uh, and we'll uh, go over those, but let me just go over the entire pod for those who aren't too familiar with it. So on the back, the motor gets bolted directly to the back of the power pod, and the motor cables are fed through this opening here. It's important that you attach the motor prior to gluing the pod into the airplane. It can be quite, quite difficult to get access to these bolts once it's in place. Uh, if you don't have a long hex driver, it can be problematic. So I highly recommend attaching the motor first. Uh, once the motor's in place, on top here, this is where the electronic speed controller goes. The cables that c connect to the motor can drop through this back hole and then be plugged in. The battery lead and the uh, receiver connection can drop through this hole and then you can get access under the hatch out here in the open. There's plenty of room for your electronics and battery and whatnot. Depending on the size of the speed controller you're using, if you have the smaller 20 amp speed controller that comes with some of the power packs for the Mini Arrow, you can put this cage on. It just keeps the speed controller contained and keeps it from moving, but there still allows for plenty of airflow over the speed controller. Um, I had problems with the speed controller when it was inside the fuselage overheating, so that's why I moved it to the outside. Um, if you're using a larger 30 or 40 amp speed controller, there's a larger cage that just fits right there, uh, gives you more room, um, but still plenty of airflow. And those two cages fit right into these recesses uh, molded into the top so that you know it's lined up and straight. Uh, the top here is flat and this area here is flat. And the reason I did that was so when you're printing, you can print in this orientation and the only supports you need are here along the recess for the hatch cover on both sides. And then depending on how well your printer is calibrated, uh, you may need some supports right along here at the very beginning of this curve. Um, if your printer is really well calibrated and has good cooling, um, you might not need supports there at all, but you'll need to experiment with that a little bit. As you can see, there's a little recess there. That's for a magnet. So when you have the hatch, as you can see, there's a lip in the front and then a matching hole on the back of that. A magnet is placed here and another is placed inside there. When the lip is put under and the back lines up, the magnet keeps it in place while you're flying. So no mechanical fasteners are needed um, and it works really well. So if you're flying non-FPV, this right here would be all you'd really need to do. Just glue in the appropriate cage uh, around your speed controller. Uh, have the non-FPV hatch and you're good to go. As you can see, there's lots of cooling for air to get in and escape and move around all the electronics. So cooling isn't an issue and the uh, little notches should line up just fine uh, with the Mini Arrow. If you are flying FPV, you would just print this hatch cover and then this small camera holder. This camera holder is designed to hold the small micro cams, uh, like the TX0102, Sinapply, and there's different brands. The power lead to that camera just drops through this hole, and you can hook it to your receiver, or if you have a, a step down for your battery, however you would normally power your camera. And a rubber band is attached here on these little hooks, goes around the back, and then connects to that, and that keeps the camera in place uh, while you're flying. It's just a personal preference, but I have this camera low enough that I see uh, a bit of the fuselage while I'm flying. If that's not your preference, you could always just raise uh, this camera holder up uh, if you wanted, or if you really wanted to, you could glue it further up, up front. Um, I just like having it on the tray, so I, or the hatch, so I can swap out FPV and non-FPV uh, quickly uh, while I'm flying. As far as printing orientation, as I mentioned, you'll want to print this in this orientation so that minimal supports are needed. As far as the, ha the hatches, you would want to print those in this orientation as well. The only supports you would need would be on the underside of this lip. Uh, everything else is fine. You don't need supports there. And for the cages, I would recommend printing again in this orientation. 
uh, this angle here can print without supports just fine. Um, so no supports are needed on those. You can print these out of PLA and it works well. Um, I would recommend printing out of PETG. That way you're not worried about hot days, direct sunlight, leaving it in a hot car and warping. Uh, PETG can withstand those higher temperatures. PLA would most likely warp uh, at those higher temperatures. But that's it. That is the uh, version four of the Mini Arrow uh, 3D printed pod. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to me via Thingiverse. Uh, questions, suggestions, or changes. Uh, and if you do print one, I'd love to see the result. Uh, thank you and enjoy.